I'm Elliot Rodriguez, and this is your CBS Miami News Brief. Let's start with a check of our travel forecast for meteorologist Craig Setzer. Elliot, our Tuesday across the country is looking pretty summer-like. It's looking kind of hot across much of the nation. High temperatures are going to be warm in the upper 80s to low 90s. There is a cold front pushing through the plains, so showers and thunderstorms possible from West Texas all the way into the upper Midwest and swirling off the East Coast, especially the Mid-Atlantic states, is Maria. Maria bringing some big surf and some tropical storm force breezes there to the Carolinas. Temperatures in the Northeast hot also in the 80s and 90s, 90s in the Midwest. Cincinnati 91, 88 in Chicago, 91 in St. Louis. But behind that big cold front, look at the temperature difference for highs tomorrow. 91 in St. Louis to 69 in Kansas City, only 61 in Denver. Finally in the West, temperatures pleasant, mainly in the 60s, 70s, and 80s for highs. That's a look at your travel weather, Elliot. Greg, thank you. Now what's moving you to be healthy and happy? We know how busy you are and how hard it can be to focus on fitness all the time. Every Monday on CBS4, we're sharing stories of what's moving you. CBS4 anchor uh, Eugene Ramirez introduces us to a free Tai Chi program that has people working out their bodies and their minds. For today's featured Moving You exercise, it doesn't matter if it's a rainy South Florida day because we're going indoors to get in touch with Chinese culture and the limits of our bodies. It's actually a martial art, and then it's spread into a meditative art, especially when it came to America. Tai Chi may not be the first thing you think of when exploring exercise options, but through CBS4's Moving You campaign, I discovered the Chinese practice is more challenging than it looks. It's, it's very slow. It's slow moving, but it's very misleading. Steve Chin has been teaching Tai Chi for nearly two decades. His free class, sponsored by Baptist Health, is offered twice a week at Deerwood Bonita Lakes Park in southwest Miami-Dade. Roll back, touch step, and play the guitar. Step on your heel. Chin's class blends traditional Tai Chi movements with a mix of stretching, cardio, and strength training that had me working up a sweat in no time. Gisela Pachardo has much more practice than I do. It keeps me healthy. I sleep good, I don't take any medication, and I make a lot of friends, and my mind is sharp, so what else do you need? The well-rounded class attracts students of all ages and abilities. Some, like Robert Wilkinson, come with their spouses, but it's a very personal experience. She stands in one corner, I stand in the other. <laughs> and that's because Tai Chi is about focusing on one's own movements and energy. We do a lot of, uh, they call it Qigong, which is uh, static exercises where they balance, actually balance on one leg. Qigong and moves with names like Grasp the Sparrow's Tail are all part of the language learning curve that comes with doing Tai Chi. You gotta remember the moves. <laughs> and that, that helps them in their mental aspect of the, the exercises. It's helping them to retain the, the movement. So it's disciplined, plus you learn you know, a lot of balance and your mind focuses. Been doing it for about a year and my balance is much improved. Balance and flexibility come with practice, but an increased heart rate is likely to come immediately. And so do the meditative benefits. Okay, so one, two, three. And students say the instructor keeps things interesting with his sense of humor and by keeping them guessing. Switch, left one on the We do it and then he'll throw something else and you're like, ah, we haven't done that. <laughs> Eugene Ramirez, CBS 4 News. Very relaxing. Some students have really gotten into Tai Chi. The instructor tells CBS 4 News that some have even traveled with him to China for programs there. CBS 4 wants to know what's moving you. Let us know what you're doing to stay healthy and happy. Email us at movingyou at cbsmiami.com. And that's our news brief. Thank you for joining us.